Lesson 38. Blues and Shuffle. Blues and Shuffle. The blues genre was born in the southern United States between the end of the 1800s and the start of the 1900s, a period in which the Afro-Americans worked as slaves in the cotton fields and sang about their troubles in sad songs. In fact, the word blue also means sad. There are many things to be said about this musical genre. For example, it would be interesting to reflect on how blues has influenced many other musical genres leading up to the present day. In any case, I'd advise you to research the internet or a library where you can find so much material on the subject. And right now, I'd like to take some time on the structure of this musical genre. It is composed of 12 bars or measures that are divided into three sections of four. A round of blues, also known as a chorus, is composed of 12 bars or measures. The first four represent a kind of question, the second four an answer, and the final four the epilogue of the cycle, the epilogue of the chorus. Traditionally, the blues is accompanied with triplet rhythms. Among these, we absolutely have to speak about the shuffle, and we'll get there in a moment. Now, to have an example of a blues song, you can listen to, for example, Sweet Home Chicago by the Blues Brothers. In any case, the blues can also be accompanied by different rhythms other than the triplet rhythms. One example is the song I Got You by James Brown in which the structure is blues, but the rhythm is funky. I'd advise you to take these two songs and try to follow the development of the 12 measures, and therefore the structure. To play the shuffle rhythm, you have to start from a triplet, for example, an eighth note, and eliminate the second stroke, therefore playing just the first stroke and the third stroke, like this. One, two, three, 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 one. Rhythm 1 Rhythm 2 Rhythm 3 Rhythm 4 Texas Shuffle Variations New Orleans style. Variations.
One last important detail is the way in which the shuffle is played. We'll also see further on with the swing rhythm. In these rhythms, there aren't any real and proper metronomic cadences, but every musician personalizes in some way the slight interval of these strokes, based on the intention one wishes to give to the groove. So, at the same time, it is possible to play by tightening this interval of strokes, for example like this. or else by widening it. So much depends on the intention that the drummer wants to give to the groove. The important thing is that it's fluid and smooth running. One last thing, remember also that for a proper shuffle language, or at least to feel more comfortable, you can use the free stroke snap technique that we've talked about. Therefore. Open your fingers on the first stroke and raise them on the snap in the second stroke. Have fun with the blues.